Hello everyone, my name is Bhavesh Vora and I'm a member of an SRE team here at Durham, North Carolina. Today I'm going to talk about uh, VAAI, which stands for VMware API for Array Integration. As the name suggests, uh, this plugin is for VMware uh, hypervisor only, which is ESXi. So what exactly is VAAI? VAAI is a plugin that enables ESXi host to offload certain VM-specific and storage management-specific operations to the VAI-compliant storage hardware. This enables ESXi host to perform this operation much faster, consume less CPU, memory, and storage fabric bandwidth. So let's understand uh, how ESXi can leverage a VAI plugin uh, to perform some storage operations such as disk cloning. So let's consider that we want to make a disk uh, cloning of a virtual machine called VM1, um, which resides on LAN1 of this hypervisor. So consider a clone is called VM1-clone1, which is also going to be on the same LAN. Although both the VMDK's files are on the same LAN of the same hypervisor, each I.O. read and write has to go through the hypervisor. So for instance, if you make a clone of VM1 to VM1-clone1, first it needs to read VM1.VMDK's flat file. So the, the I.O. request for the read has to go through the hypervisor storage driver through storage array um, adapter and storage array and then comes to the LAN. Then those bytes are going to be written on the same LAN and the read, write request has to pass through the same uh, channel. So although both vm1.vmdk and their flat files are on the same spindle as vm1-clone1-vmdk and flat files, every read and write I.O. request has to go through the hypervisor storage driver, storage adapter and storage array. This consumes a lot of CPU, memory, and the storage bandwidth. So if VAAI plugin is leveraged, this particular operation is offloaded to the storage array as a single X copy operation, and the rest is handled by the storage array uh, in the back end, where hypervisor CPU cycle is not at all being used, and hypervisor is at that time is not involved in the rest of the bulk copy operation. This saves a lot of memory, storage bandwidth, and CPU cycles. So in addition to disk cloning, VAI can also be leveraged for other bulk storage operations such as thick provision with eager zero and storage vMotion. Now let's consider VAI in conjunction with Nutanix. So in case of Nutanix, this entire storage adapter, array, and driver is replaced or it is mimicked by CVM. So all the VAAI commands are issued to CVMs who handle all the bulk storage operation. Now let's check out some VAAI plugin command on the ESXi host. So I'm logged on to this ESXi box. In order to check if ESXi host has Nutanix Y plugin installed, I'm going to use this following command. ESXCLI software vib list and grab it for VAAI, so pipeline grab VAAI, and uh, it shows that NFS-VAAI plugin is installed uh, vendor Nutanix and VMware accepted or certified. Now VAAI plugin can be enabled per data store basis, so in order to check if VAI is enabled on a data store, I'm going to use this following command vmk fs tools dash uppercase p h slash vmfs slash volume and the name of the data store in this case i'm going to use iso and as uh, you can notice nasy supported is yes which verifies that vi plugin is enabled for this particular data store for more information on VAI installation commands, please refer to KB1219.
please note that there are certain limitations when implementing this plugin with Nutanix. For instance, VAI will work only if the source and destination VM is on the same container. Thank you for watching this presentation. I hope this was useful to you. Please stay tuned for future uh, Tech Topics videos.